In this video, we're going to attempt to take apart this hard drive carefully and destroy it for recycling. You know, just to make sure the data is absolutely safe. I have recently found this old hard drive somewhere in the house that no longer works. Fortunately, I was able to save all the files and do a complete wipe before it just stopped working completely. But I don't remember why I kept it all this time. So I thought it might be fun to take a look inside before we throw it away. It's a 500 gigabyte drive that I have extracted from a Western Digital external desktop drive all the way back from 2006, I believe. In order to take it apart, we need to remove these Torx T9 screws on the top plate. Some of them are hidden underneath the stickers. I'm going to try to extract the disc carefully as I wasn't sure what it's made out of. Apparently some platters are made from metal, glass or ceramic. However, judging by the sound, I think it's metal. Before I completely butcher it, I thought it might be interesting to see and hear it spin up for the final time without the cover on. I don't know what the issue is or if it's fixable, but it keeps starting and stopping after a few short moments when you try and boot it up. At this point, I could have tried smashing it with a hammer, but like I said, I think it's metal, so that doesn't really work, especially for the lower discs. I've seen people try using fire, but that will probably take a while with the metal and be toxic as well. Water doesn't really do anything once it's dry and I don't really want to use a drill and stuff so I thought I could easily remove the platters and scratch it up but my first hurdle was that I needed a small Torx screwdriver for the internal screws so I went online and bought myself an iFixit kit just for this video. Well I have some other plans to do with my MacBook but by the end of this video I'm not sure it's such a good idea. So anyway, the iFixit kit arrived and I managed to take the screws out, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to take the actuator arm out the way to remove the disc. So I continued to try my best to remove it for the next few hours. And as you can see, I progressively used more force. Precision went out the window quite quickly and I used some more blunt tools to try and remove the disc at the end. I tried smashing it, but it doesn't work, so I scratched it all up. Hopefully that's enough to make the data unrecoverable, but to be honest, I already zeroed it before it died anyway, so I think it's fine. In theory, unless we get CSI Miami involved, I don't think we can recover anything from it. I hope at least. Before we wrap up, I just want to say, if you want me to recover or repair your hard drive, or if there's an open position at NASA, you can DM me a message via TikTok anytime. With that being said, I hope you found this silly video interesting in some way. If you did, please consider giving me a like. A huge thank you for watching as always. My name is Joe and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.